So we have a Windows 7 Intel Concept Ultrabook and with a very media rich enabled touch application. It's very simple, very easy. You can touch it, navigate it. We can open up a magazine easily, just flip the pages. We can zoom in if you want to check out the car. Um, easy navigation. Go down here, we can go to a different page. So we can see some of the applications are much easier done yeah. by scrolling the screen, zooming, and all these kind of activities, or closing windows, opening windows. Some of the applications definitely, like writing email. Um, it doesn't replace it. We still, I still utilize the keyboard, I still utilize the trackpad, but now I've gone into all three usages. I'm using the touch. It's just so natural, so easy. It's very intuitive. That's you want to give it a try? Yeah, definitely. It looks beautiful, and you know, if I need to read it, but you know, I'm distracted all the time. What the hell is all this piercing? Oh, well. I can help you find a place down the street to get one if you'd like. Thank you. This will go very good with my head. I, I would not very well. Okay, but this is the touch screen. What do we have over here? Because I believe this is something that we actually, we stretch it another level, right? Sure. So this again is the same Intel concept uh, uh, Ultrabook. This one actually is running Windows 8, and it also has sensors. Everyone's used to sensors. You must let me so, do it, although I didn't practice it. Okay. okay? I, so we I'll, have here, I'll, I'll let you pick it up and do it. So we've got a sensor that we added to the Ultrabook. So first of all, when you need to speak a location, it will not ask you where you are and you need to put your drift, you, your address, it will be done automatically. But more than that, if I take it, and I believe this Google has, I can navigate it and use all the great compute part that you've got an i5 and i core, and I'm not sure that many other things will be able to deliver such an application, and at the same time, enjoy both worlds. So we can see over here, and again, if you'll be able to try it later on, how the sensors are working with these ultrabooks, and I can see already people asking cynical, yes, but it's a clamshell. So let me promise you two things. First of all, it's very comfortable to do it with a clamshell. It's beautiful. But some of the systems are going to be clamshells like this. It's a base. But if you'd like to do it, you'll have it as a tablet. Wow. Thank you, guys. <laughs> By the way, this section, did you hear what they just said? <laughs> but what you can see over here is the way that you'll see many of those. We call it sliders or convertibles. We just open it, we took it, and then we can take the compute power that we've got in a core processor and use all the greatness that we can do on a PC, but if you want to do it as a tablet, you can have your tablet with you, and then you can have the touch that you have seen, you can have the sensor, although my personal belief <coughs> is that people will use touchscreen with their Ultrabook, even in a clamshell, and people will use the sensors, and after a few weeks that you use it, you'll be surprised you, you will not be able to do anything without it. So what you see over here is the Ultrabooks, and we've got it on Microsoft, Windows 8, that you all have seen the tiles, and it will run even better. So the first example was an Ultrabook with Windows 7, and once we are working with Microsoft on Windows 8, we'll be able to get even better experience and having the tile experience with the rest of the applications. The other thing I would like to share with you is the Nikishki. Nikishki sounds like a very strange name, I agree. This was a concept that the guys in our lab thought about, and I disclosed it in Computex. And what I showed is, this Nikishki, this is how it looks like. Let me go on stage so people will be able to see it. And the idea was the following. It's an ultrabook that you can type everything on a normal way. But over here, we've got a touchpad that you can move the mouth using the touchpad. But the interesting thing is that when you are on the go, you can close the kishki, the touchpad is transparent. Let me show you how it's transparent. Can you see my finger? Yeah, it's transparent. And you can see the data that you know need. What is my next meeting? Did I get an email? And when you've got something urgent, you don't need to go immediately to your phone or to your tablet to another device, you'll have it on the go. So you'll be able to enjoy both worlds. A very powerful notebook, but when you're on the go, you'll have all your data with you. I'm proud to say that this was six months ago, but today we've got actually a working demo. Hi. Watch your step there. I already felt once from this thing. It's okay. So we have an Akiski prototype here. It's open, and so it's in clamshell mode. And you can see that I have a cursor. 
that I'm controlling over here. I left so it you move the, the right. you move the mouse by touching the key, the touching touching the pad in the center, activating it. However, now that you'll see it's over in the center, if I put my palms down, as if I was typing, it is now picked up. Hold on. I don't trust the objects. Again, when you touch it with a finger, the mouse is moving. But when you want to type and you put your palm, palm the touch screen, the touchpad identifies the fact that it's a palm and ignore all the movement so your mouth will not move when you put your palm on this touchpad. Wow! Thank you! <laughs> and by the way, don't even think about copying it because we already patented it. Okay, go on. <laughs> so, but uh, it's very smart, I really think so. Thanks. When I'm on the move, I can activate it with one finger swipe. It comes up from sleep. So you just close it and this screen appears so much. screen will appear. Let me see if you can see it. Yes. Okay. And all my alerts are in red for what I'm going to do this afternoon. I have other items like news feeds, mail, calendar. So I bring up my calendar. I can do some small minor actions like accept a meeting or something like that. Go back to the home screen. I can bring up news feeds. And I can find, you know, things about today's news, bring it up. I can browse if I'd like. And one of the key things is if I'm going to use it, so for instance, if I was working on an email or something like that, I don't want to have to go find that email again. If you have to do it a little bit like this, so okay. I can just open it up and it goes right to where I was when I was in the, the Kiski reveal mode. So, as I say, this is the system. It's a standard system with the transparent touchpad, and the minute I want to go on the go, I just close it, and immediately the screen is changing, and here I can move and do whatever I want, so I'll have my data. Yeah. Would you like to have such a PC? I want yeah. You'll have to wait. <laughs> okay. Not for free now. <laughs> the other thing which I'm very 